the whole point of this program is to learn how to stay moving. And it's not necessarily, again, about, oh, I'm trying to lose five pounds, I'm trying to lose 10 pounds. It's just to keep your brain and your body kind of on the same page. You feel me? You know how sometimes the world gets crazy and you just go off into your little corner or your little patio section or the comfiest part of your bed, wherever you like to go relax, where it's your like escape and you just zone out. That's my YouTube time and I really love it. Whew. It's not even near my cycle. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm super excited for. I'm super pumped up. I know I say that every video, but for real, I mean it this time. Like, mean it, mean it. So, today's video is going to be introducing my four-step program. I mean, you can probably tell from the title, but hey, you never know. We are going to discuss my four-step program. I came up with this program because... I personally feel like I need it and I also think it'll help out a few people each video so there's four videos and one video will come out per month so this first step will take place in the month of June because it's already the end of May when this video comes out <laughs> so It'll start in June and it'll go for June, July, August, and September. So four months in total. And I think it'll be good. It'll be fun. I'm going to, like I said, do it myself. It'll be super fun. So I will go over what each video is and then we will get into the first step. Maybe leave a comment, like the video, share this video. I know people I went to school with are watching this. I see you and um do you think this will be a problem it might be a problem we're, we're just gonna slip this right off right in the beginning oh yeah that's a lot better okay, okay. so if you want to see what this program is all about just keep watching and again don't forget to share don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button because I need to get to 100 subscribers. And then after that, I need to grow to 1,000. So this should be fun. When it's made wrong, it's okay. But when it's made right, mm. Okay, enough, I gotta get into it. So, step one, month one. All of June, you will practice your affirmations which is today's video. I have the 20 examples that I picked out that I'm gonna do for myself. And you can do the same ones or you can do different ones. There's a ton on Google and Pinterest and I'm pretty sure you can even make up your own if you wanted to. Whatever came to mind, whatever you're going through, you can probably do your own list and so I will list mine at the end of the video so stay tuned to hear what my 20 are all right so step two month two is you will continue to say your affirmations every day and you will pick two 10 minute workouts that are slow and controlled so when I say that I mean don't pick cardio don't pick something where you're going to be jumping up and down and moving around a lot and it's like cardio based. Do um, like pick ab exercises or some arm exercises or leg exercises and it's more about being in control and learning to be a little bit more disciplined to stay active. It's not necessarily about losing weight or trying to get fit it's just about staying active and keep your body moving and using muscles that you normally wouldn't use you know this is to keep our bloodstream healthy flowing to keep our brain active to learn to connect our brain 
with our body movements, like all of that. We want to keep all of that. The whole point of this program is to, is to learn how to stay moving. And it's not necessarily, again, about, oh, I'm trying to lose five pounds. I'm trying to lose 10 pounds. It's just to keep your brain and your body kind of on the same page. You feel me? That always feels good when you can keep your mind and body connected. It's kind of like recharging yourself, you know? Where did I hear that? I think it's Jay Shetty where he talks about when our cell phone dies, we recharge that. So when our body dies, we need to learn how to recharge it. When our mind or brain dies, we need to learn how to recharge that. This new decade generation, it's gonna be about mental health. We all know it. So let's start practicing and learning our body and learning our mind and learning how to be forgiving with ourselves, compassionate with ourselves, learning how to be patient with ourselves and learning to really love yourself. This is the ultimate goal. Well, I shouldn't say the ultimate goal because everybody could do this program for different reasons. But in the end, whatever your reason is, I bet it's because you love yourself, right? You want to show yourself the respect, the kindness. You deserve to live a happy and healthy life. I say it all the time if you watch my videos. It's all about clearing your mind and just moving your body. That's it. That's all we're trying to do, right? Small goals, baby steps, right? Is to switch it up a little bit. Get a breath of fresh air, fresh, fresh air, right? It's like making small, tiny baby steps to a healthier and happier life. Like when you climb a set of stairs, you don't go from the first step all the way up to the last step. No, you walk all the steps in between. It's the same thing, small baby steps. You will see. Okay, step three which will be month three. You will continue with the mantras, you will continue with the workouts, and you can split them up or combine them. It's up to you. And then third thing you'll be doing is you will pick out four different meals. It could be a lunch meal or a dinner meal. That way you can have one new meal a week. Try a different recipe, right? We continue to eat the same things, but why? I think I probably do it because like, it's just easy, right? It's convenient, but switch it up a little bit. Try something new, okay? So you will pick four different meals. And if you want to pick out healthy new recipes, like healthy new meals, that's up to you. If you just want to pick four different types of meals that aren't so healthy, that's up to you too. It, it's just trying something new, right? Because we get in the habit of having the same thing over and over again. This would probably be geared towards something a little bit healthier, but all in all, like you just want something different at the end of the day if you keep cooking the same meals over and over again. Okay, so let's do another recap. Step one, month one, will be saying your affirmations every day. Step two, month two, will be doing your affirmations and your workouts. Step three, month three, is doing your affirmations, your workout, and your new recipes. And step four, month four, is again, following through. You could continue at step one through step three in month four, like we've been doing, or you can just focus on this last step because this last step is learning to discover yourself. But have conversations with your mom, your aunt, your uncle, your dad, your brother, your cousins, your aunties, your grandparents, whoever. Talk to them and ask them, what were you like when you were little? What was your favorite thing to do? What was the emotions you encountered when you got upset, when you got sad? Take a little, we'll call it a time hop. Take a little time hop and maybe go to where you grew up and where you used to live and visit the apartments, the houses, wherever you stayed at, you know? 
It could bring back emotions you weren't aware of, or it could trigger something like certain memories maybe you blocked. And then also try to do maybe one activity that you used to do when you were a kid. I just think you'll find out more about yourself and feel a little bit accomplished. And it always feels nice when you feel like you've accomplished something and you personally have defeated something you've been struggling with or something that's been on your mind a lot. Like there is no greater feeling that comes from that independent, I did this. Nobody else can make you work on you but you. And this might not like again this is not for you to be cured or healed it's just a small baby step to put you in the right direction you know so let's go over my 20 affirmations that i have picked out for myself and again you can use the ones i have picked out or you can pick out your own or make up your own and before i get into these when you do your affirmations, you have to pick stuff, one, that fit you and what you're going through and what you're having trouble believing in yourself with, you know? And number two, you have to say them out loud. Because then you're going to go through this whole thing of talking yourself out of it. Because in your head, you're more likely to say, I love myself. Yes, I'm confident. But the other day when I was wearing that skirt or the other day when I was wearing those jeans, they just didn't fit me right. And then my legs end up looking like this. And then I felt disgusting. And then your, your mind just goes off. And it's almost like you're trying to convince yourself that it's not true. You start arguing and debating with yourself. Versus if you say them out loud, I love myself. I am here for myself. I am confident within myself. You're not gonna say out loud, well, maybe I'm not confident. You know, you're less likely to argue with yourself. It will change the game, I promise. Say them out loud, okay? Now, my 20. So number one, I love myself. Number two, I am fierce. Number three, I am stronger each and every day. Number four, I believe in myself. Number five, I am healthy. Number six, my flaws are beautiful. Number seven, I am enough. Number eight, I will never give up. Number nine, everything takes time with the goals that I like to achieve. Number 10, life is great. Number 11, I bring joy and peace to others. <laughs> Number 12, I deserve to live a beautiful and happy life. Number 13, I am capable of so much more than I think. Number 14, I am not behind, I am exactly where I need to be. Number 15, happiness is a choice and today I am choosing to be happy. Number 16, I am a money magnet because money is a tool. Number 17, I am showing up and I am doing my best. Number 18, I am grateful for my life. Number 19, I am the author of my story. And number 20, I dream, I believe, I receive. So those are my 20. I think they're um, very personal to me, especially on the journey that I'm going through and the things that I struggle with because again, I am human because I am not perfect and I make mistakes and I learn from them. Whew, boy, do I learn from them. God. And you can also change these to fit your maybe titles. Like say you're struggling with being a mom or a dad or you're struggling in certain categories of your life and you want to put certain labels on your affirmations, then do it. This is for you. This is to help you out. And that's the best part. <laughs> Again, I'm doing it too because I need help myself. Your life is a journey. And it's not about where you're going. Of course, we know we've seen those quotes. 
It's not about the destination. It's about it's about what the journey was like to get to the destination. And I just feel like there are certain cheesy quotes like that for a reason. <laughs> so again, I hope this program helps. And again, let's let's take a little recap. Step one, month one. We will say our affirmations out loud every single day. Step two, month two, we will say our affirmations every day and pick our two workouts. Step three, month three, we will say our affirmations, do our workouts, and have our healthy recipes or different recipes. And step four, you can continue to do month one through three or just focus on this last month, which is learn to discover yourself. And you can pick out even your own definition of learning to discover yourself, but this is just what I thought would help out, you know, the most. So what do you think? Ah, <sighs> so we shall see. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna do like a recap. I probably should do a recap on what I've learned about myself because again, I'm doing it too, I'm really excited. And uh, maybe I can get my friends and family to do it. We'll see, not sure yet. I have some family and friends that are really proactive about their mental health and learning more about themselves and just trying to stay healthy, physical and not physical, you know? And then I have some that just don't give two pieces <laughs> about it. So it just depends. I guess we'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Again, this is the beginning for this program. I'm so excited. It's going to be so fun. Okay, anyways, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs> is it me or am I a mess? Maybe I need to finish my coffee. <gasps> oh, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Guys, I'm having so much fun. Four step program, who is she? I just, I'm, okay, I'm starting to get in the swing of things. This whole YouTube stuff. You know, talking to just the camera and you're talking and you're talking and you're talking and then it's like, quiet like no one responds it's a little awkward <laughs> but I'm getting the hang of it I'm having a lot of fun I think that's what's most important here lately your girl's skin has been really dry I am not a fan of it mm, fun stuff why on camera this doesn't look blended but in real life it's blended Ugh. This is all over the place. <laughs> okay, I'm looking a little yellow. Maybe I should take that out. Nobody needs to hear that. And you wanna purr, purr. Mmm, 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 film myself, What song is that? That's tragic. It seems so old that I can't even remember. Cause it's thumbnail time. I stopped filming in the nick of time. Dump truck just pulled up. <laughs> Love a good thumbnail. <laughs>